Okay, uh, today we're going to start talking about uh, this uh, data analysis, which is the first topic in statistics, and this is uh, for the first week. Uh, and you can see the in this chapter you will learn about statistical problems, statistic, descriptive statistics, graphical methods, frequency distributions, other methods. I'll we'll talk about numerical methods, measures of central tendency, measures of variability, empirical rule, percentiles, and z-scores. Uh, we will learn about all these topics, and this may take more than about an hour of uh, video, but uh, we'll divide it into different videos. And uh, uh, of course, I've introduced myself as so, uh, the instructor for the class, Mohammed El Taha, and that's me talking here. And um, uh, start with uh, statistics in general. Uh, uh, so basically I'll go over this very quickly because you can read it and focus on things that need more explanation than what I have here. Uh, so the first thing we talk about aims and goals of statistics so why do we learn statistics basically and this is to recognize statistical problems and formulate them in statistical terms so and apply suitable models to these problems and we you know, use these apply these statistical tools to do the statistical analysis because uh, we do then we also need to draw correct conclusions from the statistical results uh, probably heard or know that sometimes people draw incorrect conclusions from valid statistical data and that's a problem so in this case we want to learn how to avoid that uh, how do we because uh, statistical results can be technical, so how do we explain them in a clear way uh, to our audience and you know, learn that in this course? And how do we think statistically? Uh, not a solve statistical problem, but have the mentality of what what does it mean to think statistically? Uh, so, oh, our first, basically, we're going to be spending this is for the whole semester so you gonna know, recognizing problems and looking at some tools is going to be our first topic uh, so I'm going to give you some a couple of statistical problems uh, so we get a sense what is a statistical problem uh, so start with a question so if you have a, an issue with uh, want to know say uh, how effective a diet program is that would be a statistical problem because that would require collecting data, doing an analysis of the data, and drawing conclusions about the data. Uh, same thing if I had, say, a pharmaceutical company wants to know if a new drug they are developing is better than already existing drugs or they want to know about possible side effects. Again, that's another example of a statistical problem here again uh, the basic elements of a statistical problem apply because you need to collect data or use available data you want to do analysis of the data and then draw conclusions about the validity or superiority of the new drug and the same thing applies to all these problems 3 to 12 so let you read about these uh, as we go along uh, now let's move on some definitions because talk about a course in statistics so what is statistics what is of course when you talk about statistics you talk about probability uh, so uh, first thing is that again these are well defined here so I'm going to go quickly over these it, yeah we're going to refine these definitions as we go along but initially you just get a sense of what is probability and probability is a game of chance uh, statistics is a branch of science uh, uh, statistics is a branch of is a 
branch of science uh, that deals with data analysis okay? or basically analyzing the data uh, we the so the course objective is how do we make decisions in the presence of uncertainty because the uncertainty is explained with the concept of probability and making the decisions requires the data collection and the uh, analysis uh, and, and the decisions about the data how to explain the data Pro so uh, if you notice here the word data comes quite often uh, so what do we mean by data and that's why it's explained here any recorded event I say time to assemble a product or uh, whether a product is defective or non-defective so that's data of course uh, data is related to information which is any uh, information is any acquired data the thing you have and knowledge is useful data not, not all data is useful uh, so if you take all the sets of measurements of interest of certain problem which are this is data and, and emphasize the word all here uh, so that would be a population if you only take a subset and, and emphasize the word subset versus all of the pass all the uh, data that would be a sample so if you look at the example all registered voters would be population while if you take a fraction of those that would be a sample uh, all freshman students at the university would be a population for the university but all freshman students in this class would be a sample uh, a variable is a property of the population unit so if you look at the freshman class uh, then the major is a variable, height is a, is a variable, weight is a variable, uh, SAT scores is another variable, and so on. Uh, another term to explain is uh, descriptive statistics. Uh, descriptive statistics deals with procedures to summarize the information contained in a set of measurements. So you have a data set here sets of measurements and what you want to do with that measurement is you want to summarize it to extract the useful the information available in it uh, and inferential statistics you go a little bit a step further and how do you use that data summary and descriptive statistics to make inferences or predictions about the population so you want to make inferences about the population based on information contained in the sample so typically in any statistical problem we do not collect all the data in the population because that can be expensive or time-consuming we only collect data in a sample and draw conclusions about the population uh, characteristics of interest elements so but another summary elements of a statistical problem uh, so if we have so so here is now we can give a better definition of a statistical problem we want a clear definition of the population and the variable of interest what's the problem all about so we are interested in studying say the SAT scores of the freshman class in this case uh, the clear definition on that in this university I say would be the population is all freshman students in, in this university uh, and the variable of interest is their SAT scores coming in or math SAT score or overall SAT scores uh, then we're going to so but we don't want to we, we don't want to spend the time to 
collect data on over on all of them so here we're gonna take only we want to get a hundred out of probably the couple of thousand students so we're gonna have to design an experiment so our sampling to get how do we pick hundred of those two thousand students in such a way that whatever we observe on these hundred we can say it reflects the whole the behavior of the whole population so if the SAT score over the sample of a hundred is 700 then we can say uh, that's the same for the whole population and so on uh, collection so we're going to collect data we're going to summarize the data and we're going to make inferences so a key here is we want the sample to represent the population and that's where we, co we call that sample a, a, a random sample but so what procedures are we going to use to make those predictions about the population based on information uh, obtained from the sample we want also how good our prediction is this is very important but we're gonna we won't get to that until the end of the semester uh, how good it is how reliable our prediction is so remember we talked about uh, the objective of this class and here is a better statement about what statistics is all about to make inferences predictions or decisions call same thing about certain characteristics of a population based on information contained in a sample uh, now types of data and this is just quick summary for types of data you can also read them in your book there's a nominal which is uh, an example of nominal data is which of the following describe your war area of work educator lawyer doctor others so you can't really rank them ordinal is when you are able to rank uh, those uh, the data like this tutorial is helpful, not helpful, moderately helpful. Uh, interval data, uh, say like uh, the, dis the distance between the numbers have some meaning. So if it's if it's uh, 32 degrees versus 220, that makes a big difference. Ratio data is the ratio of the two numbers is meaningful. The height or weight, time, volume, and so on. Generally, we can. For simplicity, we classify all of these into two categories. Uh, we call them qualitative versus quantitative. Or discrete goes with qualitative versus continuous goes with quantitative data. So uh, next, we're going to focus on descriptive statistics since we are done with the introduction for the class and we're going to start with graphical methods and that will be our next video thank you and the next video will talk about graphical methods and then we we'll talk about numerical methods